Hello again, Larry Sanswell here. You know, I made those charcuterie, I think I'm saying that right, from now on I'm going to call them serving boards, for Christmas for the children, and they were a big hit. And I had this piece of wood left over, and I was cleaning up the shop today and thinking, what in the world should I do with that? It has a bark inclusion on one side and a bark inclusion on the other side. It's got a little rot right here, a dry rot. Well, I just can't throw it out. It's just not me. So I'm going to try to save this and make one more board without talking, show you the complete process that I go through to make these. Stay tuned. Can't do it. Can't throw it out. I love the smell of cherry wood in the morning. Gonna have to deal with that. Well, it's had a chance to dry overnight, so I'm going to scrape off any extra Now, there's a few little voids in here I'm going to have to take care of. That's for Set yourself up for a lot of sanding. Well, as I was sanding this, I've discovered a lot of rot on this edge, so I've got to cut that back because that, that's just not fixable. So now that I know I can save this board, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. So 
So this is where the magic begins. The uh, this is beeswax and mineral oil. Howard's cutting board oil. It's really easy to apply. Put some on. Got a piece of an old t-shirt here. And just start rubbing it in. And do the back side. I think the last time I bought this it was about seven or eight dollars. If you don't like that, you can get a bottle of food grade mineral oil from Kroger's for two eighty-eight. It's in a laxative aisle. Well now I just have to let this soak in. I'm gonna go do chores and come back and give it a final wipe down. I like it. 